Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I just had a little thought about something today that keep coming across my path from somebody that's closest to me. And I love the person. And hey, I respect their opinion. But at the end of the day, we all just have our opinion. I have my opinion. And I decide to believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I believe he walked, he was uh, born to a Virgin Mary. The Holy Ghost overshadowed her. And I believe he was born through his mother. And I believe he walked the earth and ministered. And I believe he was uh, a sacrifice for the whole world's sins. He was the Lamb of God. And I believe he was God manifested in the flesh. That's what I believe. God manifested in the flesh. All man, all God. God can do anything. But the thing I keep hearing, and it's getting, it's bigger, bigger and bigger. They talk about, okay, Constantine, who was a real man in history. Now, he adopted the church in which the Romans did but before Constantine, there was a church. And they did things a certain way. If you read even the Bible, he's, everybody say, well, the white man wrote the Bible or they took certain books out of the Bible, which I believe and I know for a fact. And they twisted it. And the main thing we talk about is slavery. Say the white man gave the black man the Bible and took away his culture, his beliefs, voodoo or whatever, you know, they were believing in their, their different gods. So, I mean, it might be some truth to that. And they twisted it. They even had a, a slave Bible. If, if, you, if you can find one or find a history of it, where they just used certain books and they took certain books out of that particular slave Bible for America, the American slaves, so they wouldn't have knowledge of who they are. But the Bible we use now with the King, the 66 books in it, which is not all the books. If you look at the, the very scriptures in that particular book, and King James, yeah, he was a king. He authorized and he was a homosexual. But hey, he just authorized it. He didn't write it. But the very book, that very book, it contradicts slavery. People say, well, the Bible say uh, slaves should obey their earthly masters. If you read the King James Version, you know, different versions use different etymology, different words, have a different meaning. So that's, that's what people get stuck on, obey your earthly masters. But then you had, even in the Old Testament, in the book of Exodus, God talks about uh, people going into uh, servitude or being in servitude, a bondage. You had two different types of servitude. You had bond servants and you had free servants. All it mean was they were workers, just like the day. You had some people that went into bondage like the children of Israel, they were forced into slavery. They were bond sla uh, servants, slavery. They were made to work. They had taskmasters because it wasn't like that from the beginning. If you, if you know anything about the Bible, Joseph went into Egypt, you know, because his brothers sold him out into slavery. You know, and he ended up going to prison. He interpreted, uh, you know, the Pharaoh's dream. And he was second man over Egypt for, so for a lot of years, I don't know how many exactly, the people, the Israelites were free people. But then, you know, the different people died out. So the, the, the younger generation decided, hey, we jealous, we envious, we're afraid of God's people. So they put them in bondage. That's a bond servant, a, a, a bond slave, which God detests. If you read the Bible, it talks about man stealers and treating people a certain way, raping, murdering, lying and cheating. God is against that. So I'm, I'm a little bit bewildered 
even when Exodus chapter 21 talk, that's just one, but as many talks about that God is against that. Why would a white man allow that book or these books, Old Testament books, to be in the book? Because somebody like me going to see that and say, well, that's contrary to what they're saying. It don't make sense. Then if you look in the New Testament, in the book of Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 1, it talks about man stealers and other, you know, other things, whoremongers and yada, yada, yada. But in the Old and the New Testament, God is specifically against bond servants or slavery, slaves, but the white man gave the black man the Bible and took everything from him. But this is another kicker. All of the greatest patriots in the Bible, going back even to Adam, they were black. The Holy Scriptures, the scrolls, they came from through black people. Like Moses went up on the mount, one of the uh, greatest men in the Bible, one of the greatest men, he was black. Noah was black. Adam was black. Their lineage was black. Now the, the line of Cain, Cain, got cursed because of Ham's transgression by Noah, but all these people were black. Their wives were black. People don't know Jerusalem and all that. That's in part of Africa. Jesus, his line, it came all the way through Noah. So if, if Noah's line was a pure line and wasn't tainted, he was black. And you can name all the, uh, the, the lineage through the Bible. What would that make Christ? And they say, well, Jesus is, is fake. But you got all these historical books other than the Bible that points to history. Like we have history books that Yahshua Hamashiach, I'm just going to use his, uh, I think his Arabic or Hebrew name, was a real person that walked the earth. So how did the white man give us the white God when it came from black people? You look at the Ethiopian, they have the Ethiopian Bible, and it talks about the same thing. A lot of the books are still in it. You can still buy uh, books, I think it's a Jubilee Bible, that still have a lot of books in it. Book of Enoch, you know, Jasher, a lot of the ones they took out. But all these characters are black. So how did the white man make something that came from black people? I, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm very confused about how people think that Jesus came from uh, Constantine and all these white artists. They might have twisted it just like they did in Kemet. When they actually took over at a certain point in time, that's what that's what they did. They twisted it. So I hope that's helping someone. Have a blessed day.